But sometimes trusting in the Lord, hermano Señor, tells us to, or reminds us that we must learn to forgive the Lord, no matter what happens, no matter what He does. Hermano Señor, even, even as that song says, even if, and I praise God. Even if you don't, my hope is in you alone, and I praise God. It's the, uh, you know, later, maybe not today, uh, and maybe not today, but some other day, I'll bring a message called Learning to Forgive the Lord. Because a lot of us, we, we get mad at the Lord. We get mad at God for doing this and that and whatever, and I praise God. But you know, we need to learn to trust the Lord. And that's what we're going to talk today about. Because like my mom said, what bad thing has the Lord ever done to us? We forgive somebody when they hurt us. But does he, did he really hurt us? And so that's when we need to ask the Lord. We need to and mom, forgive the Lord. And really, we really not forgive the Lord about us, you know, because he never did anything wrong. But we act like he did something wrong. And that's where that's where mom, it all goes it all goes haywire, the mom goes in your and mom goes, and it shouldn't be like that. We should never be, have to forgive the Lord. No, we just trust the Lord, and mom goes, and you're okay? And mom goes, and you're okay? One day I'll bring a message called that, and mom goes, and you're okay? Part of forgiving the Lord, or what we call forgiving the Lord, and mom goes, and you're okay? Is trusting the Lord. And that's what we're going to talk about today, is trusting the Lord. And mom goes, and you're okay? Let's go turn our Bibles to the book of Job, and you know the hope. In capítulo 13, Job 13, 15. Job 13, verso 15, hermano, Señor. I used to not like this book, hermano, because it would, it, I thought it said job. I don't know where it's at. No, but it says Job, hermano, Señor. He said, aquí en Job 13, 15, hermano, he said, Though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. But I will maintain my own ways before him. Though what? Though he slay me, though he decided, you know, to take me away, you know what? I still would trust him, no matter what. And I'm first God, no matter what. And I'm going to say, so okay, I'm going to pray. Father, I give you all glory and honor. Father, I just ask, Pagnon, that you be with us today. That you guide us, Pagnon, into all truth, through all knowledge. That you open our eyes, open our ears, open our hearts to receive your message. Receive that Father, that, that rain that comes down from you, which is your word, that purifies us by you, that cleanses us. And Father, I just add, we give you thanks for the word we're about to receive. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. amen. Este, uh, trust in the Lord. Aquí, hermano, Job says, you know what? I don't care what happens to me. You know, it doesn't really matter what happens to me. I'm going to trust the Lord. And who in here has had it worse than Job? Who in here? Tell me, who in here has had it worse than Job? Do you know anybody that's had it worse than Job? And what did he do all the time? He trusted in the Lord. And he never had to forgive the Lord because he knew the Lord never did anything wrong to him. And my says, even though he slay me, I will trust him. No matter what he does, whatever it is, que dijimos, como dice el hermano en Deuteronomy, he, he gives, he takes away, hermanos, hallelujah, praise God. He, 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 he makes alive, and he also makes dead, hermanos, Learn to trust the Lord. The Lord. Hermanos, vamos a leer los salmos, let's go to Psalms 4, hermanos, Señor, Psalms 4. Psalms 4. He said, hear me when I call, O God, of my righteousness. Though I enlarge me when I was in distress, have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. And he will when you call upon him in truth. Huh? When you call upon him with all your heart. Verse 2. O ye sons of men, equals the hombre, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity? And seek after leasing. How long am I going to seek your own glory? We need to seek the glory of God. Necesitamos buscar la gloria de Dios. But know, que dijo Jesus, 
What did Jesus say there in John 11, 40? He said, believe, if you believe, didn't I say that if you believe, you will see the glory of God? And didn't Jesus tell Mary and Martha when Lazarus the mom was sick, that he told them, hey, this sickness is not unto death, but that the glory, for the glory of the Son of God to be manifested in my first God. He said, but know that the Lord has set apart him that is godly for himself. Those are the sanctified ones. Huh? The Lord will hear when I call and also God to live. The Lord will hear when I call unto him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart upon your bed and be still. Sometimes when we don't let God work. Uh, sometimes we just, and we can't hear God because we're not still. But when we are still, my brother Señor, we go, hey, hey, I can hear it. They, they say, oi, 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 oi. <laughs> Praise God. That's a young. And they go, oh, yeah, I can hear it. Yeah, you're right, I can hear it. But we never hear it until we be still. Sometimes we can't hear God's word because we never get still. Nunca no, nunca concentramos, nunca no. Nos quedamos ahí para oír lo que el Señor nos quiere decir. We're never there to hear what God wants us to hear because we don't keep still. But be quiet and let God speak. He said, verse 5, Offer the sacrifice of righteousness. Wow. What's the sacrifice of righteousness? Well, Philippians 3, 9 tells us that righteousness is believing in God. He said, And put your trust in the Lord. And I'm going to put your trust in the Lord. He said, There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Any good? Lord, lift up thy light to thy countenance upon us. And I praise God. Let's go to the book of uh, Psalms 55. El libro de Salmo 55, hermano del Señor. Psalm 55, el libro de Salmo 55, verso 22. Praise God. I love this verse, hermano del Señor. Este, uh, this is one of my memory verses, hermano del Señor. I love this verse. Dice, dice, hermano, Psalm 55, verse 22. Dice, cast thy burden, hermano, echar todas vuestras cargas upon the Lord. He shall sustain thee. What does sustain mean? It means he's going to maintain you. He's going to support you. He's going to supply all your need. He's going to make sure you have everything you need. Sustain you. Both physically and spiritually. He shall never suffer the righteous to be moved. And again, who are the righteous? Those that believe in Jesus. The word moved here in Mongolia, praise God, means to waver. It means to slip. And it also means to shake and fall. He's not going to let you fall completely in what goes on. But though God shall bring them down into the pit of destruction, that is the lake of fire, bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half the day, but I will trust in thee. And among those in But remember, Psalm 91 said, and among those at the end and upwards, God, you will, will give me, and among those in your. Uh, 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 eternal days or, or, or <coughs> everlasting days upon this earth because I trust in you and I praise God. Dios Señor, de largas vidas te, te, te va a sostener, ¿verdad? Praise God. Long life will He give you. Dice aquí en Psalms 56, Salmos 56, Psalms 56, hermano Señor, verse 3. Dice aquí, what time, what time I am afraid, I will trust thee. When I'm afraid, I'm going to trust who? I'm going to trust God. And God will I praise His Word. What are we going to pray? His Word. Why is His Word worthy to be praised? Because Jesus is the Word. In God, I have put my trust. I will not fear what flesh can do unto me. I don't care what happens to me. No importa que lo que alguien me haga. Que lo que el hombre me pueda hacer. Yo voy a confiar en el Señor. I'm going to confide in Him. Hermano, Señor. Verse 11 dice, look at verse 11. 
In God have I put my trust. I will not be afraid what man can do unto me. Look at my one of my first verses. When I look at verse 13, he said, For though I have delivered my soul from death, I have delivered all my alma de la muerte. Will not though deliver my feet from falling, that I may walk before God in the light of the living. You, you think you don't have the power? El no crees tú que tiene el poder de cuidarte que no caigas. That's what it says there in 1 Corinthians 10, 13, and 1 Corinthians 10, 13. It says that God will not let us go through something that we cannot handle. He's not. But with the same temptation, he would offer an exit. And the adversity. That's what the word there is there. But I praise God. Ampa libro de Herman Gosenor. Según de Corintios. Let's go to 2 Corinthians. Chapter 1. Según de Corintios, capítulo 1. Hermano, the New Testament now. But I praise God. 2 Corinthians, chapter 1. I remember one time when my uncle said, I was talking to this fellow, he don't want to serve, no quiere servir a Dios. He don't want to serve God for anything. And I would tell him why. He goes, oh, because God took my mom away when I was young. And my uncle said, and I told him, well, what happened? And, uh, he would tell, he told me the story. Uh, and uh, some certain doctor here, this, Y'all know him, I'm not going to mention the name of the doctor, but this happened a long time ago. And my cousin, you know, he gave an insulin shot to somebody that wasn't diabetic, and my cousin, you know, it caused the death of that woman. And I told him, you, you, God, God, didn't, God didn't kill her, praise God. You got to think, it wasn't. What happened to you in the, in the, this and that, well, praise God. And I told him, well, what happened? And, uh, and I said, it was, it was God. Yes, God was in control, of course. But I was not fatal. Every man is going to have to answer according to our actions. Some people leave this world because, you know, yeah, God takes them. But some people know. Some people, they do, they do mistakes and this and that. And that contributes you know, to their death. And I was God. And I was talking to him, my mom goes, you know, he teco, but the rule really, it was just an excuse for him to continue drinking in my house, you know, at the end, you know, praise God. It wasn't really, it wasn't really, it wasn't really, it was just an excuse he was using to drink. And my goes, you know, but it shouldn't be like that. Because, my mom, we should learn again to trust the Lord in all things. Because all things work for good to those that love the Lord. Right? Oh, praise God. Here in 2 Corinthians, the Mount goes in you know, chapter 1, it shows us not to even trust in ourselves. We can't trust in ourselves. He said, Key in Mount Gosinion, you know, look at verse 3. Blessed be the God in the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercy, and the God of all comfort. Huh? Where does comfort come from? From Him. Who comforts us in all our tribulation. That we may be able to comfort, comfort them which are in any trouble by the comfort wherewith we ourselves are comforted, uh, comforted of God. See, what you're going through, you're going to be able to help somebody else that's going through the same thing you did. For as the sufferings of Christ abound in us, so our consolation also abound us by Christ. And whether it be, a, be afflicted, it is for your consolation, it is for your sake. And salvation, which is effectual in the endurance of the same suffering, which we also suffer. Or whether we be comforted, it is for your consolation and your salvation. And among the you know, this is going to help you. This is going to help your faith. And among we don't know the future. We don't know what would have happened. And among us, you and only God knows that I praise God. And our hope of you is steadfast, knowing that as you are partakers of the suffering, 
so shall you also be of the consolation. Praise God. And I'm going to say, you know, I hardly ever recommend movies and I'm going to say, but if you ever get the chance to watch The Shack, it's a good movie. I'm going to say, you Verse 8, he said, The Shack is called, right? Como un shack, como a little beating house. It's a new movie, I'm going to say, He said, verse 8, For we would not, brethren, have you ignorant of our trouble, which came to us in Asia, that we were pressed out of measure above strength, and so much that we despaired even of life. He said, But we have the sentence of death in ourselves, that we should not trust in ourselves, but in God who raises the dead. That's what happened in my holiday prayer. That's why we make so many mistakes. And that's why we don't change. Because we trust in ourselves and our own power. But I, I would remind you of that commercial, Moses, and I don't know if you remember this commercial, but it was about pot, about marijuana. And my husband said, praise God. And there was this guy offering, you know, a, a joint to this guy in that commercial. And he said, and, uh, and, he, and uh, you know, praise God, and the guy was smoking and smoking, he would say, no, I have control over it. I can stop whenever I want. Oh, really? I can stop whenever I want. No, I don't want to go That's just in yourself. You can't stop unless God helps you change. Unless you let God, you trust in God in His power. And we trust in ourselves, we just going to keep on, keep on failing. But if we trust in God, He's the one that's going to help. Let's go, hermano del Señor, to 1 Timothy 4 and 10. And they used to give a lot of those commercials. Y'all yeah, yeah, remember the, the one with the, the egg and frying it out? This is your brain. And this is your brain on drugs and all that. When it was around that, this same category, hermano del Señor. But it was about pot that I first got. He said, in 1 Timothy 4 10. Yes, God has made some stuff in this world for medicine, but people abuse them in my life. When you abuse, it's not good in my life. He said, in 2 Timothy 4.10, he said, For Demas, I mean, 1 Timothy 4.10, perdón, no, no, 1 Timothy 4.10, he said, he said, he said, he said, he said, For therefore we both labor and suffer reproach because we trust in the living God. Who is the savior of all men, especially of those that believe. This, this is why we go through all this stuff. This is why we go through trouble. We go through tribulation. And well, we don't go and well, we because we trust in God. Why is he why is he saying that? Because we trust in God. Why do I have to go through all this trouble and all this affliction and all that? Because I trust in God. Praise God. <laughs> some some crazy crazy thought just came to my head. Among those, you know, you, know, you, you ever seen Karate Kid? Among those, you first got huh? that movie with Mr. Miyagi. When I first got, he had him uh, waxing. And, he wanted to learn karate. When I first got, he had him waxing, wax on, wax on. Y'all remember those? Uh, sand on, sand off. And he he didn't he didn't. You know, he got mad. At first he was trusting, and then later on he was like, hey, this guy's just using me. You know. And later on, he found out that all that was for his technique. That I was not. That's the way we should trust God. Not, not to say that God is Mr. Miyagi, obviously. <laughs> but alert to trust Him. And mother, all these afflictions, all these troubles, all these suffering, and mother, it's because we trust in Him. Abraham trusted in God and, he, and, and had faith in Him. And He was called the Father of our faith. Joseph, Joseph never lost his trust in God. So he never had to forgive God. Hallelujah, President. He always, always trusted in God. No matter what happened to him. He said, 1 Timothy 6, 
Primero Timoteo 6, vamos para Timoteo 6, hermanos. 1 Timothy 6, verse 17. Dice, hermano, God, le praise God. Dice, charge them that are rich in this world. Hermano, God, Señora, rich in this world. That they be not arrogant or high minded, nor trust in uncertain riches. Why do they call it uncertain riches? Porque un día lo trae y mañana no lo tienes. Sometimes you have money and there's days you don't have money. You can't trust in it. Dios, algo te puede pasar a ti. That's it. Like my, my friend, hermano, my, my pastor friend, Tati, said he had a brother, hermano, he has a brother, or had a brother that, that won a lottery. I'm going to praise God. And, uh, and, well, no hizo hire a lawyer. But he didn't hire a lawyer, hermano, el señor. So, he went to, he had to go to prison for, mon, for money laundering, hermano, el señor. Because he didn't ever report it, he never paid taxes on it. And he had to do a lot of years in prison for that. Praise God. What I'm trying to say is that you can't trust in money because you can lose it all of a sudden. One day you can be rich, next day. And also God can make a poor man rich in one day if he wanted to. But it says don't trust in that. Even our money says trust in who? Trust in God. But in the living God who gives us richly all things to enjoy, verse 18, that they do good, that they be rich in good works, and good work, rich in what? What are we supposed to be good, good uh, rich in? Good work. Ready to distribute, willing to communicate, laying up and store for themselves good foundation against the time to come. And believe me, there's worse times to come, hermano Señor. Worse times. That you're going to wish, oh, I'm glad, Father, that I'm glad that you did what you did, Father. Uh, I wouldn't imagine, I would not imagine to, to go through this, you know, praise God. He said, that they may hold on eternal life, hermano Señor. Hermano Señor, dice aquí en Psalms, este, uh, let's go to Psalms, uh, Psalms 143, oh, Psalms 141, let's go to Psalms 141, Psalms 141, hermano del Señor. Psalm, uh, David, hermano del Señor, he always trusted in the Lord. He does Psalms 141, he said. Verse 8, he said, But my eyes are unto thee, is my trust. Leave not my soul destitute. Keep me from the snares where they have laid for me, and the gin of the workers of iniquity. There are many traps that Satan has set up for you. Think about a mousetrap. You're not going to put there on the mousetrap Something that the mouse doesn't like, that I can know. You're going to put something on that trap, something that the mouse likes, something that he's attracted to, you know, cheese, you know, peanut butter, frosting the cake. <laughs> they, love, they love that. And the mouse, the mouse, the mouse, those little candies, I forgot what they're called. Tootsie Rolls. Tootsie Rolls, they love the Tootsie Rolls too. And the mouse, you know, the same way, Satan knows what you like. He knows what you used to like. And one goes in your and he sets up traps for you to snare you. And one goes in your And not, 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 no, that, that's just a little, you know, simple explanation. But hermano, he, it goes deeper, and I got, he sets a spiritual traps to men. And one goes to ensnare you and to false doctrine and all this and stuff. All that is included. He said, verse 10, let the wicked fall into their own nets. Well, the, the, that I, with all, escape. And my Lord said, you know, they're going to fall into their own trap that they have set up for me. Psalm 143, Salmo 143, my Lord said, you know, Salmo 143, verse 6. Psalm 143 and verse 6. He said, he, he said, Psalm 146, verse 3. I mean, 143, verse 
verse 6, perdón, 143, verse 6. He said, I stretch, stretch forth my hand unto thee. My soul thirsts after thee as a thirsty land. Así na como la tierra seca tiene sed de agua. Así na tengo sed de ti, Señor. The way a, a land, a dry land has thirst of, of water, that's how I thirst at you, Lord. Do you desire God's word that much? Do you feel dry without him? He said, in verse 7, Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit falleth. Hide not thy face from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Verse 8, Cause me to hear the love kindness in the morning. Call me, make me. Sometimes God allows things to happen in our lives so that we can call upon Him. Because if it wasn't for those things, we wouldn't even search for Him. Yeah. That's why it's written there in Psalm 107, and all goes in your, that God raises up the stormy wind so that we can call upon Him. To, for what? To come down the storm. Hermano goes in your, he said, Cause me to hear love kindness in the morning, for indeed do I trust. Cause me to know the way wherein I should walk. For I lift up my soul unto thee, unto thee. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies. I flee unto thee to hide me, to hide me. Verse 10. Teach me to do thy will. Sometimes we need to ask the Lord, Lord, enseñame a ser tu voluntad. Teach me to do thy will. Well, Lord, I really don't know what to do, Lord. What is your will? What is your will? And I was, most of it is here. And my God said, but we don't understand this. Well, we ask God, Lord, give me understanding. To do your will, please. I don't know what to do. Should I do this? Should I do that? What should I do? And the Lord says, hey, trust me. And I'll trust God. For though I am my God, the Spirit is good. Lead me into the land of uprightness. Uprightness, right? Uh, Quicken me, O Lord, for thy name's sake, for thy righteousness' sake, bring my soul out of trouble. But I praise God. And he will, but I praise God. Up by Psalm 31, Psalm 31, and Psalm 31. Let's go to verse 13. This really, this verse really is for the end times. And my uncle said, this verse right here. And uh, he said, for I have heard the slander. In other words, the false reporting. Uh, you can say fake news. <laughs> but you have heard the false statement, the evil report. And all the, the fake news. This is Fear was on every side. That means terrorism everywhere. Does that sound like today in Mongo Señor? Does that sound sort of familiar? This guy, while they looked, while they took counsel together against me, they devised to take away my life. They conspired, conspiracy to take, take my life away. And Mongo Señor, this is talking about Tamil when the Antichrist is here. We won't get into that right now, but he said, verse 14, But I trusted in thee, O Lord. I said, the Lord, my God, que eres mi Dios, tú eres mi Dios, you're my God. He said, my times are in thy hand. Who's in control? He is. Who has your times in his hand? Él tiene tus tiempos. And that, that's, a correct, that's a correct translation, I looked it up. My times are in thy hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and from them that persecute me. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant. Save me for thy mercy's sake. And he will with his tender love, kindness, and not praise God. Hermanos, I praise God. Psalm 18. 
Sometimes man, we preach, you know, a lot on the Old Testament. Sometimes we preach a lot on the New Testament. And man, this time we're gonna preach a lot on the in the Old Testament. I praise God. Psalm 18, man, one of my favorite songs that my brother know. Psalm 18, verse 1. He said, I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. Praise God. But how far would you love him? Would you ever stop loving him? Would you ever stop loving the Lord? You know, there's things in our lives that happen in my us and know that are hard to bear. Hard to bear. Hard to support. And you know what God asks you? Do you still love me? Do you still love me? Despite what happens in your life, do you still love me? Am I still your hope? Do you still love me and trust me? Am I still your God? Do you still love me? That's what he's asking. And my brothers, you know, I remember uh, in, in God's word that I praise God. You know, when all, all you know, Peter, you know, he was all he was all brave and everything among us, you know, with a sword, you know. And then when they saw them took his savior, when they saw him, them took his savior Jesus, you know, he lost it. He didn't understand. And later on it is revealed there in Luke 26 that, well, they said, well, I thought it was him that was going to come save the world. And, when, and he was, I, I imagine he was hurt. And I imagine he was mad. And he felt maybe, 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 he may, he felt maybe a little bit deceived. Because later on it is revealed in Luke. He said, I thought he was the one. But huh? So Jesus, when he comes to him, and he denied him three times, huh, Jesus? He got mad and said, I wasn't the one that mad. And then he, at the end, he started cut, cursing. And then Jesus, after the resurrection, he confronts him and he tells him, Peter, do you love me? And Peter just looks at him. And he looks at him. And, and Jesus asks him again, hey, Peter, you love me. <laughs> and Peter looks at him again. And he asked him a third time. Goes, Peter, do you love me? And Peter got mad again and he goes, Lord, you know I love you. And Jesus told him, Well, feed my flock. Praise God. But that was an instant where Peter had to trust in God or forgive God. Which one are you? Are you the one feeling like you're trusting in God or are you the one mad at God? Does Christ have to ask you three times, do you love me? And when it goes in the verse 2, he says, the Lord is my rock. Who's my Lord? Who's my rock? Jesus is the rock. There's no other rock. I mean, there is a fake Satan rock. The Prince of Tyre, which means Satan. I mean, which means the rock, false rock. And my fortress, my deliverer, my God, my strength. Who's our strength? God is our strength. And whom I will trust, my buckler, and the horn of my salvation, the buckler of the truth, in other words, the horn of my salvation, and my high tower. I'll be a watchman upon that high tower. I will call upon them, and nothing can reach me upon that high tower. I can see my enemies coming. I can see them going. 
They cannot reach me because I'm in that high tower. I will call upon the Lord who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from my enemies. The sorrows of death compassed me. And the floods of ungodly men made me afraid. The sorrow of hell compassed me about. The snares of death prevented me. And I'm going to praise God. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried upon my God. He heard my voice out of his temple. And my cry came before him, even into his ears. And I praise God. And you know, God, when he answers, when he answers. DJ, hallelujah, praise God. Dice aquí, hermano, uh, let's go to Psalms, chapter 2, Psalms 2. Psalms 2, hermano, let's go. Psalms 2, it talks about the end time, um, we're going to skip now, and we'll go to the to verse uh, 12, the last verse. He said, kiss the son, lest he be angry, and you perish from the way when his wrath is kindled about a little, a little. He said, blessed are all they that put their trust in Him. Hallelujah, praise God. Kiss the Son. What does that mean? It means like a show of honor. Honor Him. And my honrando. And my goes, kiss the Son. Lest He be angry. And you perish from the way when His wrath is kindled but a little. Blessed are all they that put their trust in Hermano, Psalms 5, vamos para Salmo 5, hermano del Señor. Psalms 5, verse 11. It says, But let all those that put their trust in thee, in God, rejoice. Let them ever shout for joy, because thou defendest them. Let them also that know thy name be joyful in thee. Oh, praise God. Let's go to Psalms 9. Psalms 9, hermano del Señor. Psalm 9, verse 10. He said, Aquí, hermano, Señor. He said, And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, has not forsaken them that seek thee. That's one thing, hermano, Señor, we got to learn. And we got to know that has God ever abandoned you? Dios te ha abandonado. Dios te ha desamparado. Nunca. He will never. Praise God. Matter of fact, Psalm 27 reminds us that si mi padre o mi madre me dejaran con todo, Dios me recojará. And I'm praise God. It says right there in Hebrews 13 and 5, let your conversation be without covetousness. For he has said, I will never leave thee and I will never forsake thee. Isaiah 41 10 says, and my brother, that he's with us. Fear not, for I am with you. Praise God. And be not dismayed. And my brother, I will strengthen you with my right hand of righteousness. And my brother, basta contigo. He's with you all the time. Like Joshua said. And my brother, he said, Joshua 1 9, and I praise God. Pero el Señor, levántate, ser fiel, ser valiente, no temas ni desmayes, despuerta este y ser valiente no tema ni desmaye porque Jehová tu Dios estará contigo donde quiera que tú vayas Amen. God. be of good courage for the Lord your God will be with you no matter wherever you go hermano buen Señor Él va a estar contigo hermano praise God Good Señor, let's go to Psalms 37 hermano buen Señor Psalm 37.
Psalm 37 verse 1. You see the Escritura, praise God, it says, Fret not thyself because of evildoers. Don't be jealous, don't be envious of the evildoers. No, praise God. Que dije, no, pero mira este, no va ni, no, no, no va ni. We, we're quick to judge, right? we're real, we, we'll judge real quick. No va ni a la iglesia, y no hace esto, y no hace lo otro. Y mira lo que Dios hace para él. Look, look how blessed he is. Sometimes we say, hey, I was more blessed when, when, I, was, when I didn't even serve God. You know? we have, I had more money. I have more money now than what I mean, then than what I have now. You know? Praise God. But I, sometimes we say stuff like that. We heard people say stuff like that. This in verse 2. For they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. Why? Because we all, todos tenemos que responder por nuestras acciones. Amen. Verse 3. Trust in the Lord, confía en el Señor, and do good. So shall thou dwell in the land. Barely shall thou be fed. Hermanos, I praise God. The Señor te va a sostener. The Lord will give you, hermanos, His word. Delight thyself also in the Lord, and He shall give thee the desires of thy heart. You see, when we do with God, we have good desires. So God will give you the desires of your heart. If you're not with God, you're going to have bad desires. Well, God's not going to give you those bad desires. But the good desires, He will always give you. Los deseos buenos, todo el tiempo te los va a dar. Your dad or a mom, do you know what to give your kids? Now, or well, now you're now your family father. Hermanos, you know, what, do you don't think he knows how to give good things to those that wait upon him? These are in verse five. Commit. You know that word, hermano? It's an interesting word. Commit means to roll. Wow. Hermanos, you know, I remember a lot of people back then in the 80s was. Was when they were when they would uh, leave or something, let's rock and roll, without praise God. I mean, let's get out of here, praise God. It says, roll with God, roll, roll with God. That's what that word is. I looked it up, and it is roll, like roll, like roll with God. Hey, you want to roll with me? And well, you've heard that expression before. Roll with God. That's what that word means. Commit. Roll with God. Commit that way to the Lord. Trust also in Him and He shall bring it to pass. Él lo va a hacer que pase el mundo, Señor, ¿verdad? Trust in Him. El man confía en Él. El man praise God. Let's look at Psalm 40. Salmos 40. Dice aquí en Psalm 40. Salmos 40 dice I waited patiently for the Lord. Los que esperan en Jehová. ¿Verdad? He said, I waited patiently. Sometimes we don't know how to wait patiently. We get, we get anxious, hermano, señor. We start worrying. We get mad. Hermano, we don't know how to wait patiently. Necesitamos que esperar pacientemente. Pacientemente esperé en Jehová. Y él me oyó. ¿Verdad? He said, and he inclined unto me. And he heard my cry. My cry. He brought me up also out of a horrible pit, out of a miry clay, set my foot upon a rock, that rock is Jesus, and established my bone. He had put a new song in my mouth, meaning I'm a new person, I'm a new man, a new creature, a new creation, or as it is written in the Greek, uh, an original formation. Even praise unto our God, many shall see it, and fear shall trust in the Lord. Blessed is the man that maketh the Lord his trust, and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies, to false doctrine, tradition of men. Many, O Lord, my God, are the wonderful works which thou hast done, and thy thoughts which are towards us, they cannot be reckoned up in our order unto thee, if I would declare and speak of them. 
They are more than can be numbered, and I praise God. Y eso es, hermanos, I praise God. That's, that's what it is. He has many plans for us. Of course, His plans are not often our plans, but always remember, His plans are better. And I'm going to go see him. Let's go to the book of Proverbs, I'm going to go to Proverbs, chapter 3. I don't know how I missed, I don't know how I missed this verse, I'm going to go see him, but I sure did, I'm going to go see him. Let's go to Proverbs. Let's go to Proverbs, chapter 3. Obreros 3, I'm going to go Verse 3, verse 5, he said, Trust in the Lord with all thy heart, and lead not, lead not unto your own understanding. What does it say? Trust in what? Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lead not unto thine own understanding. And about who knows more? You or God? Inside us, to Dios. So who do you think knows what's best? You or God? God, huh? Who created the universe? God. Well, not even a man cannot even among the uh, duplicate among the Señor. Can imitate but not duplicate even an ant or a spider. I was freaking out on the mosquitoes last night. They have a mind, they can dig it. I better run, this man's gonna kill me. You know? who, who can invent something like that? Who can make that? Can't push it as well? Must use. We God. And one of Senor, we can't say I know more than God. <laughs> we, we know just a little bit. That's all we know. But it's only to confide in the Señor with all thy heart, all the time, and I praise God. He said, In all thy way, acknowledge him, and he shall direct thy path. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear the Lord and depart from evil. Look at Psalm 62, the Bible goes on Psalm, Psalm 62. Psalm 62, in verse 8, he said, Trust in Him, how many times? All the times, right? He said, in verse 5, My soul wait, though only upon God, for my expectation is from Him. He only is my rock, my salvation. He is my deep end. I should not be moved. In God is my, in God is my salvation, my glory. The rock of my stream and my refuge is God. Trust in Him all times, you people. Put out your heart before Him. God is a refuge for us. Trust in Him all times, among us. All times trust in Him, no matter what. No matter what. Praise God. Listen, Psalm 61 verse 4 says, I will abide in that tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings. And my goodness, now look at Psalm 73. Psalm 73. Psalm 73, my goodness, Señor. Psalm 73, and we'll start verse 23. He said, Nevertheless, I am continually with thee, those holding me by my right hand, thou shalt guide me with thy counsel. And look at this. And afterward, receive me in glory. Wow. Me guiarás con tu consejo, la presidenta. O, o tu palabra y después me recibirás en gloria 
Peter did. He guides us through his word here in this world. And that after it's finished, he receives us up in glory. Qué tremendo verso era, praise God. Dice ahí, in verse 25, look at this verse, man, dice, how many can read that verse, verse 25, say, that is so me, praise God, that is so me, dice, whom have I have in heaven but thee, and there is none upon the earth that I desire beside thee. Remind me of that uh, Elvis, Elvis song that I first got. You know, I can't think of songs and movies or whatever. first got. That you are my everything, you know, first got. Tu eres mi todo. And I was in there. I think it's a Christian song too, you know, I was in there. My everything, you are my everything. Hermanos, what else do we desire? What else can we desire? Who's more important? Again, is the most important in our lives. He is, he's all, you know, and I can't think of the, I can't think of the cielos, you know, a ti, y afuera de ti, Señor, no deseo nada más. In verse 26, my flesh, my heart faileth, but God is the strength of my heart. He said, my Lord, Señor, and my portion forever. For lo, that they that are far from thee shall perish. But thou destroy all them that go whoring from thee. What does that mean, go whoring from thee? Because we're supposed to be married to Jesus, the Word. When we go whoring, mean we start believing in false doctrine. And when Satan's here, my brother, they're going to go jump in bed with Satan. Have a romantic rendezvous with the false Christ, with the false husband. This guy, Emma was in y'all. This guy, my flesh and my heart falleth, but God is the strength in my heart. But out verse twenty-eight. But God, but it is good for me to draw near to God. Emma, it's good for what? Que me acerque a Dios. Es todo tiempo es bueno que te acerques a Dios. It's always good you get close to God. What did Jesus say? What did God say there in uh, James? Draw near to me, and I will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands. And I praise God, you evil sinners. And I praise God. Praise God. You draw to me, and I will draw to you. You got to do your part first. Draw to me. <laughs> That's what God's saying. We'll meet each other halfway, but you got to do your part. You got to do the first step. <laughs> First day it belongs to you. Draw near to me. He said, I have put my trust in the Lord God. I may declare all thy works. Y conviene que publiquemos las grandes maravillas que el Señor ha hecho en vuestras vidas. Do you, have, do you trust the Lord so much? That you can say right now that whatever you're going through, that you, whatever you're, 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 you're passing through, whatever tribulation or whatever, do you trust Him so much to declare it today? It is a wonderful work that the Lord is doing in my life. It's something good. God is doing in my life. Do you trust Him that? Do you trust Him that much? Do you love Him that much? I remember that. Otra vez con vista, my amiguito, ya necesito cortar, cortar de mirar mi vista de la presca. And I say to la presca, el squirrel, hermano, goes in the when he when he when he dies, you know, he goes into to that to whatever they call squirrel heaven, you know, presca. And uh, he finally gets to have that 
that acorn or whatever he's chasing around, that nut. And then all of a sudden they bring him back, you know, they, they uh, do, do respiratory and then he comes back and he's all mad. Ugh, why did you bring me back to this earth? He's all mad. I don't know how, but he wanted to be in heaven. And I'm present now. And my uncle yeah, some of us, you know, you know, we, and my, sometimes God and my uncle, he does what's best and we don't understand God, we don't understand. But God does what's best. And I'm God. Be like that squirrel. That squirrel didn't want to come back to the earth. <laughs> he wanted to stay up there. <laughs> like you see. Ya no quiero venir para atrás, para aquí, para sufrir. No, 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 señor. Dice Nahum, cuando vamos para el libro de Nahum, hermano Nahum. 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 Um, or Nahum, or well, either one. Yo digo Nahum, hermano, el Señor dice aquí Nahum, el libro de Nahum. The Lord is good. The Lord is good. A stronghold in the day of trouble. And he knows them that trust in him. Él conoce los que confían en él, hermano Señor. But with an overrunning flood, he will make another end of the place thereof, and darkness shall pursue his enemies. Hermano del Señor. And then you read about you can read about the Antichrist and the <coughs> the fallen angels and all the next verses of our first God, but we won't get to that today, but our first God. Oh, but, praise God. You know, sometimes we gotta learn to trust the Lord in all those We gotta come to trust the Lord. You know, Ruth, she was a tremendous woman in our first God. And my said, she left her faith, her gods, and trusted in the living God. And my little Senor, and yeah, she lost her husband, and my little Senor. But then God gave her, a, a, God gave her another husband. And when the Bible says, look what the Bible says here concerning Ruth. Let's go to the book of Ruth, chapter 2. El libro de Ruth, my little Senor. And I came back room here, but I don't know. 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 Sometimes it's a gradual thing. But at the end, we're going to come to trust the Lord. We're going to learn to trust the Lord. And my God, why? 
because vamos a agarrar experiencia and we're going to see that all things did work for the better that all things did work for the better hermano Ruth hermano Valeria praise God she decided to live with with her uh, mother-in-law even after her husband died and she was still faithful to her mother-in-law hermano Valeria praise God and still God blessed her hermano Valeria with a, with a, with a husband hermano Valeria praise God and she Hermanos, learned to trust God so much, hermanos, go, Señor, that she knew, she probably knew God's word more, God's word more than many of the, of the teachers that were there that I praise God. Let's go to, hermanos, go, Señor, let's go to Psalm, the book of Psalms 33. Psalms 33, hermanos, go, Señor. You get them out through Psalms, it's through trusting in the Lord, right? Praise God. Psalm 33, verse 21. Con esto terminamos, vamos a decir. For our heart shall rejoice in Him, because we have trusted in His holy name. Hermano, Dios, Señor. Con eso vamos a acabar, I didn't realize it was so late. I'll put this in pie. Do you trust the Lord? Can you uh, at this moment tell him, Lord, I trust you. I trust you. No matter what. Can you tell him at this moment, Señor, that you trust him with your life? Even, even though things don't look like they're good, but the Lord says, 